Hi, I'm Chris Groves, and I'm really pleased to be able to support the Chartered Institute of Housing for raising awareness on antisocial behaviour. Why? Well, because it's ASB Awareness Week. And today, really, I just wanted to make a short video to talk about the effective case management principles. Uh, and if you're a landlord or a local authority, this is something that hopefully you'll be familiar with. Five key principles here to look at. So first of all, we've got opening cases swiftly and effectively. So all of that includes accessibility. How accessible are you to your communities? Can people report ASB online, in person, on the phone? different languages, make sure that you are accessible to your communities. Then we need to focus on risk. So how are you prioritizing your cases? Is it low, medium or high risk? Or is it not antisocial behavior at all? These are the components you need to think about. The questioning is also really important. Who, what, why, where, when? And most importantly, how does the ASB affect people? Think about the outcomes, action planning, giving advice, there's so much to opening up a case. If we get that right, the rest hopefully will fall into place. Then we've got early intervention. So what does that look like? Well, mostly you. So interviewing, negotiating, persuading, problem solving. Uh, this could be kind of warning letters right the way through to acceptable behavior contracts. But the main thing here, understanding why people are causing antisocial behavior in the first place. The sooner we get that, we can try and identify those needs and try and solve problems. Then we move on to a harm-centered approach, thinking about the outcomes of the problem. So not just the, the label that it's been given, but what about the impact that comes with it? Have a little think about that. Of course, we've got the legal tools and powers up next. There's a plethora of examples of good working practices out there to tackle antisocial behavior through sanctions. Of course, hopefully we can negotiate our way through things, but sometimes the sanctions come and that can be a real respite for victims of antisocial behavior. So get in there early sometimes with your civil injunctions, your community protection notices, and also some harsher sanctions that are available if required. And then just lastly, and never forget this, closing cases. Closing cases is really important too. So let's try and get those cases solved. Sometimes they're unresolved, but our ultimate objective is for the ASB to go away and don't forget to ask for feedback, really important. Those are my kind of five top ASB case management principles. Have a great week and keep up the great work.